Measure to 24 to 25, the, uh, the shift that happens from, uh, from this uh, series of phrases. <laughs> To that, uh, to the next section uh, where the tremolo starts. Um, there's two uh, s s sort of points that there where you can really use some, where you can break the passage down into two spots. The first is the is the spot where you actually shift your left hand while still playing uh, the PIM arpeggio. And again, I, I what works for me in getting that passage is to really just stop on the shift, like this. Like that. Just so I can feel the shift and, and actually have an opportunity to make it really easy. I, al I almost like to imagine that gravity is kind of pulling my arm down into that shift. Not that I'm pushing my hand into it, but that gravity is sort of pulling me into that shift. And you can get it pretty smooth with enough practice. The next point, uh, the next spot is right after that, where into here. And that one you pretty much just have to grab. So uh, slow practice is recommended uh, really for that. You know, my, as I'm saying this, I'm thinking of, a, of an exercise my, uh, my teacher at Cleveland Institute of Music, John Holmquist, would give me. He says, when you have passages like that that you really just have, it feels like you're just throwing your hand at it to get it there on time, he said, try to make a film in your mind. It's a visualization exercise, actually. He would say, just try to make a film in your mind. If you can see, <clears throat> if you can see where all of your fingers are just before the shift, and then see where all the fingers are just after the shift, and then make a, like a time-lapse photography kind of slow, super slow motion film of your fingers actually going from the one shift to another. And I've used that a lot, and this is one of those spots where it would really help. Because really, you're going, your second finger's at the first string. Your third comes down to grab the C on the bass. In that amount of time, you can actually form your bar. And some of the shape of that next chord is kind of already there. If your fourth finger is pretty loose, uh, really, it's just a matter of the three and the four coming here, and then the, the second finger coming down a little bit, you know, down toward the lower string to form the, the B major chord. So I'll, I'll try to super slow mo it uh, right now, just like this. So if you can kind of choreograph, I also use that word a lot, choreograph the move in the left hand, it becomes a lot easier.